Whenever I have a client who is completely overwhelmed and just stuck, one of the things I often ask them to do is to set up an application called Todo. Now, Todo is spelled T E U X D E U X. Now, the reason for this is because Todo is quite possibly the simplest minimalist task manager out there on the market today, and it only costs $20 a year. It's phenomenal and in the past I have used it myself in order to just regain some clarity and focus on the day. And today I want to show you how I recommend people use it when using the time sector system. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're looking at the web version of Todo's interface. Now, to get the really focused view, you really want to be using your phone, which is why to do is excellent for those of you who are working in an environment where security is very high and you can't have third party applications on your computer. If you can access the web and you can access to do from the web, then you will get this view in Chrome, Safari, Edge, whichever browser you're using. So if we have a look at this, I've got this set up for the time sector system and one of the, this is one of the best tools for the time sector system. Now what you'll see is on the top row we have the next seven days and it always shows you the next seven days unless you choose to change it. So you can go down to the bottom of the screen as you can see down here and we can change it to the next five days, the next three days or if you're working from the web and you don't have access to your phone, which probably is unusual, you can actually just have this one focus mode, which gives you only the tasks that you have scheduled for today. And this is actually a view I really like, but this is better on the phone, which I'm gonna show you shortly. So let's go back to the next seven days. Now I consider this in to do as the planning mode. When I'm planning, this is where I would be and this is where I suggest my clients go for when they're planning. So it doesn't really matter what you throw in at the bottom here. These are just the holding pens for tasks that you haven't decided precisely when you're going to do them. But because it's the time sector system, we have got some kind of organization here. And incidentally, if you wish, you can put your routines in here. You can simply add a new list at the bottom here just by clicking here and you can then type in the name. I'm not gonna do that because we save you time. Okay, now if you don't like this particular setup, you can actually go to the bottom down here. You can probably see down here and you can actually go in here and you can change your color accents. You can, you can actually set the default for the number of columns that you have, text size, spacing, and you can have completed or not, com uh, showing your completed or not. I don't particularly like that. This is a task manager. This is just telling me what I need to do and you can change the bullet styles, you can start on today or yesterday, uh, you can show the lines or not, and you can have light or dark of course, and celebrations. Now I have this set up as dog and I do have them set up, I'm gonna show, that's gonna show you that in a moment. So those are the settings, those are the options that you have, but it's very, very simple. The whole point of to do is very minimalist, but it's a great way if you're feeling overwhelmed and you just like too much stuff, this is a great way just to get things a little bit more clarity in what you're seeing. Now to move things around, it's really quite straightforward. So if I've got some, I'm gonna buy some postcards, for example. Now I was thinking about this the other day, I just randomly added it to my to-do list. I'm not gonna do it this week, I'm not going out anywhere, so I'm just gonna move that into next week. I would need to visit a museum nearby to, to get some. We have quite a lot of museums nearby here. Check next week's interview. I'm doing an interview with a company next week. I need to check that, this is very important. I'm gonna check that this week so I could move that into this week. And then buy some postcards and I've moved the wrong one. Should I test my noodler's ink, so I'll move that back there. Buy some postcards, move that into next week. Test this noodle, noodler's ink that arrived yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna do that later today because it's, it's a low value task but um, I, I can do that when I finish work this evening. So there we go, that's how you just move stuff around. Now, you can, if you wish, set up recurring tasks. Now, if you see here, write this, this week's podcast, I've got it set up as recurring. If I tap that, it will tell me 
how I've actually, when I'm going to do it. Now, I always write the podcast script on a Thursday. So that will come up on a Thursday and it comes up every Thursday. Now, to set up a recurring task, you need to be in this view, not down here, because you need to have set it up with a date. So let's just put one in here. So uh, test recur. And I'm going to put this every day. So if I type in every day and then hit return, uh, you'll see that natural language parsing, it will actually just throw them all in over every day. Now, I don't want to particularly do that, so I'm just going to click and delete all instances down at the bottom there. And now I will delete all the instances and they all disappear. So but this is just a wonderful way to actually get a focused view in to do. But like I say, the way to use this app is not so much from the desktop, but the way to use the app is from the cell phone. So as you can see here on the screen, I've got today's tasks all up at the top. So I've got right coaching, client feedback, record the YouTube videos, and it's just showing me today. I don't need to see tomorrow, the day after or whenever, because that's not relevant today. Now, when I go back to planning, I would always come back and always tell my clients to come back to this view because this desktop view is going to give you the full scope of your day. Now, when you're doing this week, of course, we're trying to get everything moved into this week. So I'm going to be looking at review um, ultimate productivity workshop landing page. I'm going to move that into my Thursday call into bank. Well, I won't be able to do that now this week but I will move it off to next Tuesday. I know I'm, I've got time because I always go to the supermarket on a Tuesday, uh, review the ultimate productivity workshop. I'm going to be doing that on Saturday as part of my planning. And you can see how easy it is to move stuff around. So if you're looking for a minimalist to-do list, then this is actually one of the best places tools to use. But if you don't particularly like this, then my friend Francesco D'Alessio has a website called Tool Finder, which you can go to and you can look for hundreds. I mean, there's more than a hundred to-do list apps in there with reviews and probably also linking to some videos that Francesco has done reviewing those actual tools. It's a really good place to go. Looking, if you're looking for notes apps or even task managers, then Tool Finder is the place to go. I'm going to put a link down at the bottom. I did promise Francesco I'd mention it because he's doing a tremendous job over there. So there you go. Tool Finder, good place to go to find the apps that you want. But this one for me to do is, I have used this in the past, if I'm going to be completely honest, when I'm feeling particularly overwhelmed, this is just a superb tool just to get you back focused on what's important. Simply because that mobile view on your phone is just so easy to look at. It's simple and it just doesn't overwhelm you with all the other stuff that you might have going on. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick review of To Do. I do this video every year uh, because I do like To Do. I love what they're doing. And just an indication, it actually costs $20 a year. It's a subscription. I know, another subscription. But even though I don't use this full time, because I'm demonstrating it a lot of the time with clients who are just completely overwhelmed, it's an investment I find worth having every year, $20 a year. So it's less than $2 a month for something that's going to keep you focused and it's going to keep you on track to the most important things that you want to do. So there you go. That's my quick review of in 2025 of To Do. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about how I actually plan the day, then this video up here is the one to watch next.